let's talk about few interesting things. Okay. So this is the plan we assigned yesterday, right? Yes. Now, I would like to hide the employee costs. Okay. I'd like to hide the high employee costs. How we will do? Can I guess? Uh, yes, we have to uh, go to the uh, coverage yeah coverage types, and we need to uh, uncheck that box. Perfect. So this question sometimes looks very simple, but still we get. Yeah. Maintain benefit coverage types. Retirement section. Display employee cost on check. Data set hours. Right. Go to worker. Benefits. We can see employer cost, but not employee cost. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now we'll test this plan by try to assign to an employee whose our age is 60 plus. Okay. Okay. So we'll find one employee. Shanti Singh. Forty years. I will just overwrite forty years to sixty plus. Okay. Mm, Nineteen ninety-two plus twenty plus seventy-two sixty-two. That's a fifty-five. Nineteen fifty. 67 years now. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's proceed. Let's try to assign this plan to work. Huh? Benefits. Change benefits. Okay. Now, when I select the date, the plan should not be visible. If it is visible, the rule has been failed. Empty. Yeah. Okay. It's empty. Which means the rule is working, man. Perfectly, it's working. Excellent. Now, what I do is just for double check, the past information change, whatever I assigned to her, I will remove that value. I mean, I mean, I'm going to resend that value. So if uh, here we edited the personal information, right? <clears throat> so the business process has triggered here? Uh, for changing personal information? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Because date of birth is part of personal information, no? Yes. So, so yeah. okay, the approval goes to whom exactly? Like uh... Uh, Normally, <clears throat> date of birth changes some people may not require approval some people may count for that approval but in okay. our scenario there is no approval for this okay so that's the reason so if, I'm triggered. if you want so, to hmm, go on. i'm sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah. in this case now we have changed the personal information right uh not hmm. the employee so employee oh. did or we in this case i mean uh, uh the person 
who is handling this account now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Go on, please. Repeat again. Sorry. Uh. So the job, uh, the personal details, just we have changed, right? Okay. So now the change is made by Ashanti Singh or somebody else? Ah, made by someone else. Okay. Not Ashanti Singh. Okay. So that's what, like, without uh, Ashanti Singh's permission, uh, we, we, uh, so we the approval. For yes. This. yes, yes. So good point. So sometimes, as you mentioned, uh, if HR advisor is doing the change, uh, we don't need any approvals. Right. If employee doing the change, definitely we need approvals. Okay. That, yeah, that's what my question was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I have removed the data box, but now she is less than 60 years. Correct. Let's yeah. do a test for this employee. Now the plan should be available. Mm -hmm. Benefits. The plan should be available now. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Now let's talk about cross plan dependency okay cross sure. plan dependency for that we need two plans we will take our rbs 41k Then we'll also take one additional benefit to our Right. Okay. Now, what we're talking is cross plan dependency. What is my cross plan dependency? Sometimes some requirements, um, we have to allow the person to select only either of these plans. Only one plan can be select. Sometimes, if you select this plan, it's managed to select this plan also. If you have such requirements, we can create cross plan dependencies. Okay, yeah. let's see how to create these cross plan dependencies. Just a second. <clears throat> now access a task create cross plan dependency create cross plan and or prequel sorry effective from um, effective from one month plan relationship name Okay, and description I will select.
some kind of help. Okay. Now we are not restricting the benefit group. Benefit group is by default USA salary. We can assign or we can ignore. Primary plan. Primary plan from retirement, we will select our RBS. Secondary plan is from our, uh, okay, we have a copy and paste it there. AMD committed right now. Now, this is the name we gave, free text field. This is the description we have given. So some people who are once ready, they can see this and they will be aware what exactly we are doing. Now, sec now the rule here. Here we have few options. May elect one or more secondary plan. Must elect at least one secondary plan. Only one primary or secondary plan be elected. I am repeating. May select one or more secondary plan. Okay. Yeah. Which means your primary benefit plan plus additionally, what are the benefit plans here you have assigned? At least one needs to be selected. Okay. Which means this needs to be selected. If employee enrolling into this plan, it's mandatory they have to enroll into this plan also. Okay. Second one means must select at least one secondary plan, which means only secondary plans are allowed. Okay. Uh, only second. Um, just a second. Correction. I think yeah. Both uh, <clears throat> if uh, if at all we have to, uh, one more plan, any of the one we have to choose or something. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Let me put in this. Way. Yeah. Actually, I'm explaining. I got message from my colleague. So yeah. first one is must select one or more secondary plan. One or more. If you assign five five secondary plans, you yeah. can select one or more, up to you. Okay, but at least one. If you select the secondary option, must have at least one secondary plan, you must select one of the plans from this drop down in the secondary plan along with the primary. The last option is only one primary or only one secondary plan can be elected. Okay. So now our requirement is select either of the plan, but not both the plans. Which one is feasible? 401k should be 401k perfect yeah. so only one primary either this or this can be selected correct yeah right please ignore this one now i will check and come back to this just check focus sure any questions on this one no it's clear okay select okay now let's we'll test this We'll go to an employee. We'll go to Mr. Adam. Adam already have four on K, right? So Ashanti, you only have four. Okay, okay. To test this, we need to do some additional configuration. That is Adam. Okay. Offering, sir. Next one is commit. So what I'm doing is this coverage steps and creating into one event type only for testing, real time not required. Okay. Okay. Just for testing, I'm sorry. Real time, anyhow, we have dedicated uh, benefit events created. Now quickly enrollment, edit enrollment event rule.
map our rules here. Under which either RVS or Cognia mm, plane. Similarly, coverage rules. RVS. This is the event. Under this event, benefit coverage types. Means, uh, what do you call it? Where we are hiding these employee employee contributions, those values. Okay, then here, RBS. Then, allowed benefit plan changes can select any plan. Default to, as I said, we'll discuss in one special class, sorry, one unique class exclusively on this one, don't worry. Sure. But now, good to test. Now only one plan should be allowed, not both the plans, okay? So, um, please. Benefits, change benefits. Change reason, RBS, select either. Two plans should be available. So I'm submitting. Ashanti Singh received. Try self. Let's get start enrolling. Oh, he already have that one. I'm enrolling into this. Continuing monthly contribution, $100. Save. We need beneficiary as well. Adding beneficiary. Save. Oh, percentage. And one thing we have to remember, if you give less than 100, no, something, for example, let's say I give 80. You still get error. Because you strictly have to specify the percentage should be equal to 100. Okay. Benefit is nothing but if then something happens to Ashanti Singh, uh, her uh, whosoever beneficiary dependent, they will get 100% of the savings. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm reviewing and submitting. We should get error message. This is not our error message, I think. Let's see. Not this the one. Submit. <laughs> it failed. How, how did you get to know it failed? Kiran, in this case? Uh, there is a reason I will explain. Because okay. one of the plans she already opted. Okay. So what we are saying, if the employee enrolling both the plans at once, then we need, we need to populate an error. She already enrolled into the plan. On top of that, okay. we are uh, we are uh, what, what we are doing? Uh, we are giving, we are selected only one plan. So, now, to fix this, what I do is, I will resign this event. Business process. Why also open enrollment? Where is the one? Resigned. Actually, you should give error message. I'm select either of the plan. That's all. It's not happened. So, I'm saying confidently failed. Now we'll again repeat. Benefits. Oh, if she is doing self right, it may go for Ben Partner now. Hmm. This is going to be my next question. Any idea, ma'am, why she is not able to select RBS? 
Securitarians or I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. Thought. No, 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 no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, don't mind if I'm asking a question to help you uh, just analyze. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> this is and don't mind if I give silly answers. <laughs> no problem. No problem. So don't worry. So I will do stop proxy. I will I will I will give the answer also. Don't worry. First we'll go with our flow. What exactly we are testing? Sure. Benefits, change benefits. Start. When you see main is here means she already having this plan. Okay. okay. I will main is it. I will change it. So we add now, right? Okay. It's way off. That's why I selected this plan now. Okay. The condition is here. Eight now selected. Coverage employee only. Okay. Seventy five dollars. Comment is changed. I'm selecting now this also. Select, confirm. This is what I'm trying to show. Okay. Okay. You can't select uh, both. Forcing you now to uh, remove the commuter spending. Are you sure you want to remove the commuter spending because you are enrolling into four one k? Okay, yeah. if you remove the commuter spending, then we are able to enroll into this plan. That's all. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Now uh, I will cancel it. I'm going to show other way. I'll cancel this event. Perfect. Now we'll make either of the plans should be mandatory. Okay, that also we'll try. So I'm going to select the same one, edit. Class plan prerequisite. Can select and only one plan. Select either. This is ours. Effective from. I'll just select second. I'm going to change this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the rule. Can select. Actually, both are same only. These two. It will let you allow to select mandatory. You have to select secondary plan. Okay. Okay. So, what will select? May select one or more secondary plan. Must select at least one secondary plan. Mm -hmm. This also works. Pri if primary plan is selected, its mandatory secondary plan needs to be selected. But remember mm -hmm. one point: ma'am. if the first is selected secondary plan, this validation doesn't work. Okay. I didn't get you, Kiran. So, I will not, which no, I will. so okay. must select at least one secondary plan. Yeah. If they're selecting this, community spending also mandatory, they have to select. Correct? Yes. Yeah. If the employee first selecting community spending account. Okay. Got it. That doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. look for primary. Okay. That's what. Yeah. Perfect. Now, let's see. Actually, when you're working for one national Australian customer in my uh, career starting and benefits especially. She's a PeopleSoft. Uh, she's from PeopleSoft. She doesn't know mm -hmm. what. Uh, 
she used to ask people soft things i used to expert in work day <laughs> so okay. i gave her opportunity to learn and become master in benefits so I still yeah. remember sara after me <laughs> so we should get such she people she is lucky yeah uh, she is lucky that's what i'm saying <laughs> So <laughs> no, I'm also super lucky <laughs> to work under her. Okay. Now we are going to test the scenario, ma'am. Same okay. thing. Benefits. <coughs> Change benefits. Then. Now Ashanti Singh has to select both the plans. Okay, should give error message. We'll see. Primary is four one k. So I'm selecting the primary plan as usual. Select, confirm and continue. Monthly contribution hundred US dollars. Beneficiary designation, dependent, hundred percent. Now I'm saving this man. We are expecting. uh work day should give error message oh you must also enroll into community spend it's working it's working yeah the plan you have chosen requires an extra step you must enroll into community spending at now okay so working yeah. now let's see uh i'll just go ahead and review and sign up perfect it's not allowing you okay this is work man either of the plan or both the plans okay yeah any question from here no it's clear okay now let me also explain enrollment instruction enrollment instruction plays a very uh, key role in at least in one day right how these will play a key role in workday benefits because sometimes we may have to give certain instructions okay to the people who serve enrolling into the benefit plan okay like uh, so uh, please enroll into the benefit plan on so on so day or so on by by the time so on so date you can enroll your dependents your child something like that so i want to give instructions and i want to populate instructions here itself we'll take four one okay so let me run stop proxy see now access a task maintain enrollment instruction general en enrollment instructions so under which uh, coverage type you would like to populate these instructions i want to populate under our retirement savings okay select this add row button restricted to benefit groups us regular salary Where is that to employ salary? Hmm. Enrollment event, RBS, four one. Okay, coverage. Did I get anything for RBS? Okay. What instructions you want to populate? So here we can get. Actually, here is policy, ma'am. I'm just giving some random help text. Okay. Okay.
if anyone enrolling into the 41k i want to i want to display this one ma'am give me one moment please sure. moment. thank you sorry so then and we can also highlight with colors if if you think you want to make it more pleasing <laughs> we can select colors bullet points italian bold letters you can add. done one point here we have to remember is Vogda will give you group instructions, enrollment instructions here. Okay. Okay. Always but remember if you give instructions here, okay, if you give instructions here, it will override entire benefit groups. What I'm trying to say, under retirement savings, you have 10 retirement plans available. If you give any instructions here, it is applicable for all the 10 retirement plans. Okay. Okay. Or each country you want to give different restrictions. Kindly don't maintain any details here. Okay. okay. The reason why I'm saying no, people will by by mistake they will give later, they will think like they will check here. Uh yeah. why these values are coming. Actually, it's coming, it may come from here. So if we different group. For India, you have different benefit groups, different uh, 401k plans, different instruction, then you need to configure here. Okay. Overall, we need to configure here. Yeah. Okay. Now, quickly, we'll do a simple test on this one. Uh, again, we'll go to some other employee, Norman Chow. Arman. Oh, oh, he's in Canada. It's okay. We'll go the same route. So proxy account and rolling. Now here you can see them. Yeah. So this instructions we can So before if anyone is enrolling into, they can read these instructions. Okay. And then policies, company policies we can display before you're allowing employee to select. And this is our uh, uh what is that cross fund dependency one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now the question, why uh, now we're in Ashanti Singh account, right? Why Ashanti Singh herself not and not able to enroll into the plan? I will explain that exactly. Let me run on. Reaction, benefits, change benefits, reason. <clears throat> Mm, sorry, not this one. RBS, uh, either of the plan. See, ma'am, either of the plan is not available, correct? Yeah. Okay, why she is not able to sell the event is, let me explain why. It's not worker selectable or something. Very good. I'm waiting for that answer. Excellent. Okay. We have not selected worker selectable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Edit benefit event. Mm, RBS eighth of the plan. Here you have not selected worker selectable. You select the checkbox, then only employee is able to select this. Let me check quickly.
So now we'll proxy her account. Now she should be able to select the event. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Right. Now let's also talk about electronic configuration, electronic signature configuration. Electronic signature configuration means it's a just a checkbox before you are allowing anyone, before you are allowing anyone, they have to acknowledge. I read the condition terms and condition of the company and I'm I'm aware of uh, all the legal rules. I'm selecting and select the checkbox yes and then submit it. It's a kind of electronic signature. You are accepting company policies. Etc. Some company said this benefit plan can be removed at any given time. We are not giving guarantee to be continue until you serve service with this company until this uh, year. So it will be there, right? So we have to allow the employee to read. Okay. Let's yeah. see. How, let's see, ma'am, how we had to configure. Stop proxy. Access the task. Access the task. Um, enrollment. Electronic signature. Here. This is a one time activity, sometimes, most of the time, I forgot. <laughs> Maintain electronic yeah. signatures, so something like this. Okay. So, we'll also create one for our product. <clears throat> Add. Mm -hmm. Electronic signature name. Customer has to provide these values, no? but I just I'm giving randomly some text. Okay. Restricted country USA. So many are there, right? Definitely ours is not going to trigger. I will make it as default. Then only the one water we configure will be able to test. Let her change it. Now again, going to Ashanti thing. Letter action. Security profile, start proxy. Okay. Oh, some plans are on hold. Okay, this is the one. Enroll, select. 
on hold and i will cover now during open enrollment don't worry let's we'll go very basic at this moment beneficiary save and a review our electronic signature should come review and sign of oh, this also we created right what it says ah uh, but i'm not selected in the event you got the issue you got the point now what happened we made it as mandatory no select both the plus next to be selected yes yes now it's stopping me because with this event i can select only one plan so that's all. now not a problem what i do is a profile So it might be Ben admin she receive it. Okay. There are the simple components. Okay. Tomorrow we'll start our healthcare plan configuration. Okay. Then pretty event approve. Now again it goes to Ashanti Singh. She has to enroll. Oh, it went down. Hold. Let's get to start. This is something different. Okay. You'd say me. Now the our event will be available, the one which initiated. still on hold ma'am on hold means if there's a business process already in progress on top of that if someone initiated the previous uh, the one the recent one will go on hold so that is the reason so let me cancel this as well she doesn't have access Hmm. Sorry, she doesn't have access to cancel either. Who oh, will select?
looks like a sample data. Finding for the right test employee. Okay. Mm. Not it. Okay, this, so this, this person is terminated, right? Uh, Kiran, uh, though we can change? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the plans, if you enable COBRA, Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, we can do that. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. okay. Ma'am, uh, this testing uh, can we continue tomorrow? The simple one, sure, right? sure. Just we have to display the acknowledgement. Yeah. Okay. 